so today we'll discuss about the mechanism of breathing a last class we have seen how it works and today deeply we'll see how inhale and exhale of air takes place in our body so first nam eppadi paapom appadina ungalku theriyum so inhale of air through the nose through lungs eppadi podu then what the process occurs inside the lungs so first nam vand the air it intake means uh, inhale of air enna solluvom appadina that is respiration and exhale of air means kaatra veliyiduvathu expiration okay so inspiration and expiration today we'll discuss so air first it enters through the nose then it through the mouth then through the it enters into the lungs so last class we have discussed about it enters through the bronchioles and in the bronchioles what happens there is an and branches that is bronchitis expands in a sac like structure or pai mar kutti kutti and that is called as alveoli it is surrounded by a blood vessels that is called as capillaries first we will see about the inhalation that is air intake so what happens this is the one part of the lungs i have taken so when air enters into the lungs what happens the volume of the thoracic will be increased so nama inhale pannumbodhu enna avum appadina nama vandu thoracic and the parts enna avum appadina it will be increased so nama nariya air intake we can feel that time what happens the diaphragm will be contracted diaphragm means eppadi irukum appadina nenju kud and the ribs ku keela irukku or dome shape la irukum it will be in a dome shaped that is called as the diaphragm so it contracts okay so when we inhale the air what happens the thoracic uh, volume of the thoracic will be increased and the diaphragm contracts so inga enna avum appadina you can intake of air what happens here the pressure is negative okay so compared to the atmospheric pressure the intake of air inside the lungs will be negative what happens then the rib cage uh, there is an intercostal muscles intercostal muscles means the in between the ribs the muscles present is called as an intercostal muscles in the lungs lungs edaila irukirathu so ipo nama paakkuradhu pathinga or part of the lungs so what happens diaphragm will be contracted and the pressure inside when you are inhaling the air the pressure will be negative compared to the atmospheric pressure this is called inspiration then expiration that means you will expel the air what happens intake of oxygen and expel of carbon dioxide next here what happens the volume of the thoracic will be decreased because exhale pannumbodhu enna avum appadina and namalku irukku and the volume vandu decrease avumbodhu nama air vandu veliya etru so that is expel so that time what happens to the diaphragm the diaphragm will be relaxed ungalku theriyum மூச்சு இழுத்து நீங்கள் விடும்போது அங்கே அந்த டோம் ஷேப் டயஃப்ரம் வில் பி கான்ட்ராக்டட் அண்ட் ரிலாக்ஸ்ட் அது நீங்கள் ஃபீல் பண்ணுவீங்க அதனால தான் நம்ம டாக்டர்ஸ் கிட்டே போகும்போது பார்த்தீங்க அப்படின்னா செத்தஸ்கோ வச்சு பார்க்கும்போது இ ப்ரீத் ஸோ அந்த ஏர் ஃப்ளோ கரெக்டாக இருக்கா எனி பிளாக்கேஜஸ் ஆர் எனி திங் அப்படின்னு சொல்லிட்டு கண்டுபிடிக்க முடியும் ஸோ மூமெண்ட் வில் பி அப்போ என்ன அப்படின்னா டயஃப்ரம் வில் பி மூமெண்ட் வில் பி இந்த அப்போ டைரக்ஷன் ஸோ திஸ் இஸ் த மூமெண்ட் ஸோ இது வந்து உங்களுக்கு ரிலாக்ஸ்டு மீன்ஸ் கான்ட்ராக்டட் அண்ட் திஸ் வில் பி இன் எ relaxed and upward movement it contract out it will be relaxed this is expel this will be inhale here the pressure will be uh, in a positive way that's increase compared to the atmospheric pressure adanal da inge volume enna avumna decrease avum so air will be expelled this is the process of inhale and expel of the uh, air so nama kaattu nam vandu why we are inhale and expel of air is needed for uh, inspiration and respiration because the blood flow will be in a proper normal conditions because nama inhale of air will be more that is oxygen we intake and expel that is carbon dioxide will be expelled so what happens the blood vessels the capillaries will be mixed with the means combined to the hemoglobin to form the uh, to means release the co2 from our body and intake of the oxygen so this is about the mechanism now we will see how much of air will be intake and will be expelled for a normal human being that we will see now now we will discuss about the respiration volumes and capacities appo na evlo volume of air namu inhale pandrom and exhale pandrom abindratha vachu nama capacities nama paakalam tv abindna that is tidal volume okay so normal persons நம்ம இன்ஹேல் அண்ட் எக்ஸ்ஹேல் ஆஃப் ஏர் பார்த்தீங்க அப்படின்னா இட் இஸ் அப்ராக்சிமேட்லி ஃபைவ் ஹண்ட்ரட் எம்எல் தட் இஸ் த வால்யூம் ஆஃப் ஏர் இன்டேக் அண்ட் எக்ஸ்பேர் இஃப் ஏ ஹெல்தி பர்சன் கேன் இன்ஹேல் ஏர் 
up to 6000 to 8000 ml of air per minute that is the tidal volume so sadharana or manusha healthy healthy ana or person pathinga appadina so per minute ku or how much of air vand inhale and exhale pandrar appadina it is around 6000 to 8000 ml next we'll see about the irv irv means inspiratory reserve volume so what happens uh, normal uh, amount of air is around 6000 to 8000 plus additional volume of air which were intake it may be around 2500 to 3000 ml so that is called as an inspiratory reserve volume so additional volume amount of air which we are inhaled next erv abdina expiratory reserve volume so what happens additional amount of air which we are exhale means veliyettrathu pathina it would be around 1000 to 1100 ml next residual volume residual volume means what happens the normal inspiration of air okayla eduthukiradhu thavuthu which after forcible expiration means exhale of force panni sel amount of carter vandu we are uh, means uh, outlet that is we are exhale through from the body it is called as an residual volume and the amount of that's the capacity of the air will be 1100 to 1200 ml idellam pathina normal amount of uh, that's volume of air inhale or exhale plus this amount it is called as an irv erv next we'll go with the inspiratory capacity so capacity means that is the inspiration of air after normal expiration so the total volume of inspiration of air after normal expiration that is called as an inspiratory capacity it is calculated as tidal volume plus inspiratory reserve volume you rendi add panninga appadina it is called as an inspiratory capacity next adhi, the same way expiratory capacity means it is also the same way the tidal volume plus erv that is expiratory reserve volume it is called as an expiratory capacity means after expiration the normal amount of value which we are inhaled that is called as expiratory capacity it is calculate expiratory nale tidal volume plus erv uh, inspiratory capacity means tidal volume plus irv next functional residual capacity how it is calculated abin pathina erv that is expiratory reserve volume plus respiratory volume that is normal expiration that is called as a functional residual capacity vital capacity abina this is a combination of erv tv and irv that both expiratory inspiratory and also the tidal volume combined together forms the vital capacity next total lung capacity total amount of uh, the air which are present in the in our lungs it is calculated as rv respiratory volume plus erv tv and irv total all together that is the total lung capacity in which the amount of air is present in our lungs this is about the respiratory volume and the capacity so uh, today what we have seen about the mechanism next is the uh, amount of volume the capacity next class we'll see about the exchange of gases how it takes place in the in our body thank you